I'm Dr. Susan Hutchinson, Director of the Orange County Migrant and Headache Center here in Irvine, California. And this study on remigipant was very insightful. I think part of the reason behind the study was that we know that at least in the United States, there's over three and a half million Americans for whom the triptans, which have been used for years for the acute treatment of migraine, are either contraindicated or somewhat contraindicated due to individuals having cardiac risk factors. Uh, the reason for that is the triptans do cause vasoconstriction. Remigipan is a G-pan, it's not a triptan, and it does not cause vasoconstriction. So the idea behind this study is, would remigipan be a safe and appropriate option for adults in the United States who do have cardiac risk factors? This study was multi-center, open label. I think very important, it was 52 weeks. To me, the duration and the number of subjects in the study, I think is very uh, insightful. I think it carries a lot more weight, for example, than a shorter length trial or a shorter number of subjects. So 1,800 adults, they averaged four to 14 monthly migraine headache days, and we subdivided them into those that had no risk factors, those that had one cardiac risk factor, and those that had two or more. We also subdivided them into those that had a low versus a higher Framingham risk score, and high was considered 10% or greater. And what we then looked at is as these patients took remigipan, again, it was open label, were there any differences in adverse events, in safety issues during the 52-week trial? And I'm pleased to tell you that there were no differences in how the subjects reacted to remigipan based on cardiac risk factors. So we're very excited about the results of this study. I think the takeaway from this is that we now have an acute treatment option for adults who have migraine, which appears to be safe and well-tolerated, not cause vasoconstriction. So now we have a treatment option for those patients for whom the triptans are either contraindicated or relatively contraindicated.